Hello and welcome to Desert Rat Fiber Arts. I'm Desert Rat, but you can call me Lloyd. Today we're going to continue our flea study for 2023. Um, and today we're going to be doing Radnor. Or as we will soon find out, it's actually Hill Radnor. Um, it comes from Wales. 31 to 33 microns. Average staple length of 80 to 140 millimeters. Or 3 inches to 5.5 inches. So, it is not in our field guide to fleece, so I had to go to the big uh, fleece and fiber source book. And let me see if there's a picture of the sheep in here. Of course, it's on the second page. All right. And <clears throat> there we go. This is our Hill Radnor here. And let's see a few facts about this particular animal. Uh, fleece weight of four and a half to five and a half pounds, about two to two and a half kilograms. Staple length of two to six inches or five to 15 centimeters. Usually three to five inches, seven and a half to 12 and a half centimeters. Fiber diameter is approximately 27 to 33 microns, spinning counts 48s and 56s. I don't know what that means. Never seen that before. Lock characteristics mostly rectangular staples, indistinct with short pointed tips. Also, some narrow staples with more visible crimp patterns. Overall, medium crimp that is generally disorganized. Natural colors are white. Uh, let's see, uh, dyeing using clear colors with a matte finish produces clear colors with a matte finish. Fiber preparation and spinning tips. Information varies depending on length. Pick and spin from the locks, comb, or card. The fiber is relatively easy to draft with a little drag, which helps the spinner maintain control because of the crimp patterns. Knitting, crochet, and weaving. The yarn has nice body. Some pieces will be good for skin-touching garments like sweaters and hats, while others are a bit too coarse and are better for outerwear. If camp and dark fibers are present, the yarn and fringe shines will be subtly and pleasantly tweedy. Best known for, not well known, a good all-purpose wool with the potential for tweedy effects. Okay, the mysterious hill Radnor has been recognized locally for many centuries in central Wales, along the country's border with England. Yet there's no real dearth of Britain in references about the breed, even in very old agricultural texts. This was an isolated rural area, even well into the 20th century, so the breed likely developed primarily from selection within the region, with few or no additions of outside bloodlines. It is similar to other Welsh mountain breeds, yet a bit larger and rangier with a slightly finer fleece. Early in its histories, the Hill Radnor was often referred to as the Radnor Tan Face due to its decidedly tan face. The Breed Society for the Radnor formed and created a registry in 1955 and settled on the name Hill Radnor at that time. Although the Hill Radnor's fleece evolved to protect the animals from the elements, it accomplishes this job without being rough. The wool may contain some camp and colored fibers which give it a potential to produce tweedy yarns. The wool is dense and crisp feeling and is a good candidate for maintaining the texture of a fabric construction or for color work that remains distinct instead of blurring. Okay, so let's take a look at our fiber here. And see what we got here. That aside. All right, it's not super soft. It's not horrible. Um, let's uh, pull off from this end here. You pull off another staple here. It's got some good length to it, so let's measure it. And we got about four and a half inches. So that's actually a decent staple length to work with. So I'm going to get my wheel set up and we're going to get to spinning this and see how it turns out.
Okay, so next day the yarn has been wet finish and hung up to dry. And here we go. So we got about 26 yards uh, chain ply, uh, about a super bulky actually this time, about six wraps per inch. So it plumped up quite a bit um, in wet finishing. So keep that in mind and it, it might do that to you as well. Um, very squishy, very stretchy. Um, it's fairly soft. I, I actually enjoy this. It was a very pleasant spin. There was a teeny tiny bit of amount of camp in there, not enough to say so. Um, but yeah, I would, it spun up great, and um, I would definitely spin more of it if I had it. So tell me, have you ever spun Radnor, Hill Radnor, Tan Face Radnor, whatever it's called in your area? Have you ever spun it before? What are your thoughts of it? And would you spin it again? And what did you use it for if you did spin it? Uh, okay, so next time we're going to be doing Targi. Now, I don't know if I've spun Targi or not. Um, I might have, but I don't think so. Uh, this is uh, from the US. It's uh, 21 to 25 microns with an average staple length of 75 to 120 millimeters or three to five inches. So this ought to be an interesting spin. Um, we're getting close to the end of this. I think there's two more after this one. So we'll see what we'll come up with next after that. So until next time, this is Desert Rat. Happy crafting. <laughs>